absolutely a massive amount. I found about 50 of them right here. That is very terrifying. Again, my daughter coming up with the artillery shells. And there again, the tip from some sort of grenade. Yes, that's what it's all about. Today we have something very special for you. We are going out to a forest area where the Germans met the Soviets on their way to Berlin. And this is mayhem. This is like the ammunition forest of a lifetime. It's absolutely insane. And I'm just sitting here doing some projects. I just wanted you to, sh to see this. I'm gonna go out with my daughter, Bunker Buster Girl, and we're gonna have a blast with metal detectors. And there's a lot of things there, and we're gonna show you it all. If you're new here, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit a comment field. Also, fun fact, did you know that just 12% of you will watch our video in full length. So if I create a video of 50 minutes, just 12% of you will watch that in full. The rest of you will be impatient. Skip, 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 skip. And then just maybe watch for four or five minutes. Come on guys, give us some respect, give us some love, help us to get out there, watch the videos in full. And that way we can go out and do even more. So are you ready? Then let's go out and find the past together right now. In Germany again, looking for traces from the past. Just discovered a lot of trenches going down a hillside so we're gonna have a look around this area and see if we can find some of the small items that could tell us what actually happened here it's a very exciting small location you got a lot of activity from uh, the uh, Russians against the Germans and uh, some uh, fighting going back and forth all the time around this area so hopefully we'll be able to show you some more things from the past and uh, we'll definitely share these moments with you here today it's just in these trenches some pointing that way and we're really eager to try to find out who were here and that definitely looked like the, the German sort of uh, Munition K98, so looks like there could be a ammo spill here right up in the surface. Yes, it is. Look here, definitely yeah, a lot of ammo here. Massive ammo spill right on the top of the, the trench here. I'll bet some of these are. Readable underneath. There's a lot of ammo right here. That's the MG belt. I see some of the links. That is the German MG belt. So, yeah, that is the German MG belt connecting some of these here. Yeah, it's linked munition so it's the MG from the Germans wow exciting that is very terrifying look at that it's a huge artillery shell just pointing up from the ground I just sort of scraped around it I'm not gonna take it or touch it or whatever holy moly some sort of splinter definitely something going on up here it's on a ridge and the heights were the one the areas that you need to, to take control of and uh, that's probably what the Germans did here. You can see the trench system going here, passing me here, over there and over to that ridge. So let me give something back to you for staying here and being in the video and I'll do that later as well. This is basically the area that we're in and this is an image from what you can call Google Earth and this is what most people would see. Do you see the history here of the World War II? Well it's not that easy but I have a tool. You want to see something special? So imagine this is where it all took place. Imagine you can see the actual action or places where the action of the World War II took place. You want to see that? All right, I'll show it to you. There it is. This 
is the trenches, the trench systems that the Germans built to protect themselves to, uh, against the Soviets coming in. These are munition storages, these are trenches coming in, and there will be some massive craters also all over. So what you're stuck with is that if you don't know where to look and how to look, you will see that from the air. But we see this, and that is what leads us on to the locations. Is that cool or what? little payback so if you continue to watch the videos in full you will learn more all right let's go out there and uh, see what more we find one has to be very careful right here it's actually just laying there that is a mortar I probably didn't have a very very long time it's just here in one of the trenches normally I don't touch them I don't want to handle them. Looks like an eight centimeter. Has the backlight tip. So, have to be very, very careful. Now we get surprised. That's a Russian cartridge, for sure. So maybe the Russians overthrew the Germans. I know they fought for this area two or three times back and forth, so that could easily be it. These are, of course, in millions here. Bomb and uh, artillery shell shrapnels, absolutely everywhere. So, when you're finding a sort of a location, you could be sure that someone has tried to bomb or or shoot it with artillery or or some uh, mortars. We found this sort of abandoned road going down here, so we're just searching around the road shoulders. Russian live ammo coming up, so... At one point, a, G a Russian soldier walked at the same path or road in the forest here and dropped this one. We came from up there, followed the trails, all of the traces of the Russians down here in a trench another Russian live ammo so we are sort of following the traces of the uh, Russian army from one point to another and it's amazing to see that you can do that just by looking for the artifacts that they left when they moved around I've checked that it's not a dangerous item look at that that is the wear of a mortar you have the characteristic wings here and on the back you could be lucky to find if it's a German or a Russian I'm not too sure the Germans had the 5 and 8 centimeters this one I think is a Russian one good it's not a complete one just a piece of one still there in the ground up there are some positions, looks like a machine gun nest and stuff. Down here, looks like a big caliber. No, it's not live, that's good. That is the Russian one. That is why the machine gun nest was up there. This is their turf, their territory, or used to be for a short while. This is on the top of a trench. Could be a Russian trench digging tool. Doesn't look like any of the Germans that I've seen, but you never know, they used whatever they had. This is on top of one of the trenches, very, very close to a field here. We're down very, very near to the field, and this one a massive artillery shell grenade still on there and I'm gonna show you the uh, these are for the barrel to twist it so it's been fired it's down here it has this angle here and that means that the uh, it's a Russian one because it was fired from this direction and I know for sure that that was the way that the Russian came so quite incredible my daughter again finding a truly horrific thing so we're not going to touch it we're going to put a flag on top of it and call the authorities so this is the area that we are in now i'm going to show you another 
cutout so you can see how we can see history. So basically, again, forest. We have a little piece of the um, the fields here, and this was heavily fortified by the Germans before the Soviets came. So let's see what the Germans put there. So you can see here, there's a major position right there. So major position here and the trench line coming in here. These are craters, artillery shell craters from the Soviets in actually coming inside the um, trench system, but it kind of goes up here and continues all the way up into the forest. And that is basically why there is so much munition everywhere. And you can see today, very, very little. You can just barely make up this line here. And you can see that is the trench system. Very effective tool and it enables us to find places very, very easy. Again, my daughter coming up with the artillery shells. This one is hollow, so it's no danger. And uh, I don't know, she's a artillery shell magnet. <laughs> And there again, the tip from some sort of grenade. A few staying in the top. I don't know, it's been separated by the blast or something. I'm just gonna leave it. Me and my daughter were just close to Railroad, sort of thing. We both found uh, each one of these. Very, very, very nice uh, spoons. And this thing here looks like a lighter. And also a lot of Russian ammunition, so could it be that the Russians were here, taking a break, eating some food with some tableware they took somewhere? Could be. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you? In this manner and fashion here, by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays, you can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description, you can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with For Your Eyes Only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff. And if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month. But now let's continue our little adventure. Beautiful place, this forest. Just interrupted by this. This one I do believe could be a German one. I'm gonna check that rear there, see if we can find a date or anything. Alright. Now we're heading back towards the car, yet another mortar down there. Not even gonna bother taking it up. Looks like a damaged one. It's so probably Russian. My daughter found a very, very big mortar tip here. It's huge. Could be that we could clean that thing there. I just found a small one and she found this huge thing. Could be Russian, could be German, I don't know. Special finding indeed. It's even today quite intimidating to sort of sit here in the top trench, observation post, looking out towards the forest. Very nice uh, red color on that uh, flare. That's a Russian one, I've seen that before. Uh, are some markings on it, but I can't see that here. But it's very sort of special feeling knowing that this was dropped by a Russian soldier keeping guard and keeping track of the Germans down there. There's another Russian end of a flare. 1944. Uh, what's it marked? 6537 something. All right, looks like there could be some more surprises here. That is something that looks very German to me. Could it be that the Germans were here first and then the Russians took over? That is a Lohspatron, looks like a red one. That has to be, <clears throat> let's see, let's take it out. Yes, it is. Absolutely a German Loge Patrone. And here you go. Wow, look there. 
there is the expiry date I'm gonna show you in a picture later and you can see the text everything it's in really really good condition from staying on the top there that is amazing so we have like the Russian edition of items and then we have this one that's a great find on the top of a small ridge where both the Germans and the Russian were yeah the hill has had some action from both sides this is a German ammo K98 or MG cartridge or live round as I say Oh yes, we even find pieces from the German Panzers and the uh, Soviet tanks there. It is a spectacular place. I just call it ammunition forest because it's filled up with live munition and uh, spent munition. It, it is just mayhem. And as you saw, we find all of these pieces which are safe to kind of pass on to you. We do something like this and we pass them on to you. So if you want to check out how to become a Patreon team member, do so. Also, if you want to keep us out there and you want to help us to go out and find more incredible projects like the, what we're using or kind of planning here, we have this little super thanks feature. Easy. It kind of helps us out. If you want to donate some gas money so we can fill up the gas tank and go out and do more, please do so. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you for being a Patreon team member or donating on the PayPal thing. And we pass on to you each and every month, as you can see in the videos in the beginning of each month, to support our videos. And uh, it's our pleasure. I have a motto, history is everywhere and it will be everywhere by us sharing it and giving it and passing it on to you. Tons of more material coming up. Thanks for being here. Give us a thumbs up, a heart, a like, a comment. Greatly appreciate it. Stay safe, keep smiling, and I will see you later.